Hello, so we are going to go over how to add photos to your used equipment page. So right now you can see we have several of these where I have included them um, as galleries where you click on them and they get bigger. Um, you can see, hold on a second, you can see a caption down here and then the arrows click through to each one. So that's how the gallery is supposed to work. And it looks like we've got one in here that's done incorrectly. So I'll show you how to fix that as well. So to go back over to the admin side, you'll notice that for all the ones that I have that are working, we've got this line of text here. So what you need to do, we're gonna delete this one. And it looks like that's the 6329. So I'm just going to hit the delete key to get rid of that and then go in here to the images and the tag is 6329 so you've done all of this correctly already the description is where the caption is going to go the title is just what shows up here that's not really important um, but we're going to say instead of just clicking on it and saying use this media which is what you did um, we're going to say create a gallery based on the selected tags. So we hit that checkbox and what that does is gives you the thumbnail that clicks to become a bigger image. So we'll say create a gallery based on selected tags and then we're going to select this tag. It's 6329. It'll be right here, the first one on the list. So now you see the whole list is narrowed down to this one. So instead of selecting the image, the tag itself is selected and we've got this checkbox here. So then once you see the image that you want to display, we just say use this media. So now this spot has the gallery tag and we'll hit publish edits and then go back over here to the regular page and hit refresh. And the table is back to the size that it should be and the image is right here. So it looks like um, this Vermeer baller is um, the caption that you wanted. And these click through and everything is working just fine. And uh, at any point here, you can hit the escape key on your keyboard to get those to go away. Now, you mentioned wanting to add a couple of different photos to any given spot. And we can do that as well. We'll go back over here to the image gallery. And I don't have the images um, that you need in the spot, so I just took a couple of samples. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to show you how to do this straight from the beginning. So you put your cursor in the spot that you want the photo to be. Now, if you want to replace anything that you have there now, I'm not going to do it because I don't know which ones of these um, are old. But you just highlight this and hit the delete button to get rid of it. So you want your gallery to be placed in a blank spot here. So we've got the cursor flashing in this spot. So this is the 6225 John Deere. So I'm going to assume you've already gone in and added these correctly. But if not, you know, just highlight them and type over each individual spot. So when you're ready to add the photo, click in here and hit the insert media button. And then what we're going to do is hit browse and choose the photo from your computer. So this is going to look a little bit different because I'm on a Mac and, and you're on Windows. But when you hit the browse button here, a window will pop up and you can choose the photos from your screen. So I've got them on mine in the desktop folder. Um, and I've just pulled a couple of images off the internet. So I'm going to select the image that I want and then hit open. And then down here, um, hit upload. And you can see this little screen here, it says loading. I'm on a fast connection, so it happened pretty quickly. But um, on your computer, this might take a while. You might see this loading screen here and nothing seems to be happening here. Um, but you need to not close the window and just wait for this to show up um, in this spot. So this is the image that I just added. When the image shows up here, you need to click on it, and this is where you add 
a title. Uh, oh, we'll call this. Title, a caption, and then the tag will say one, two, three. Um, and this is where you would put your, uh, what are we calling it? Well, your tag. So um, for this one, since we're going to do it in this spot, I'm going to call the tag 6225. So I'll go back over here to this tab, make the tag 6225. So once I've got these in, I'm going to say update resource fields. And then you'll see the 6225 just popped up over here in the tags window. So if I wanted to put the big image in and not have it click through to the bigger size, I'd be done. All I have to do is hit use this media and it would show up in the big spot right there. We don't want that though, so I'm going to delete it and then put it in this cell. So I hit insert media here. Select the image and see that my tag is 6225. So I'm going to select 6225 from right here and then say create a gallery based on the selected tags and then say use this media. So that puts the gallery there and I hit publish edits. Go back over to the site and hit refresh. And that puts my new image right here. So it looks like the caption is actually the title and not the description. So to go back over here to the editing window and back into the images area, we're going to put the caption in the title spot. And the description, I guess, we don't use here. So that one doesn't matter. So we'll say update resource fields. Now to add a second gallery or a second image to the same spot all we need to do is upload a new photo so I'm gonna to say toy tractor 2 here and hit open and then upload and that's gonna put the the new tractor here in this spot so in the title we'll say Number two, and then in the tag, this is this is how you get two images in the same field. So if you've got multiple images of the same piece of used equipment, this is how you're going to do it. You're just going to make the tag the same. So this new tag will be six two two five, just like the last one, and say update resource fields. And now since I've already got the cap or the gallery created, I don't have to do anything else. All I have to do is upload the image and add the tag here. So I'm just going to close this window and go back to the main area and hit refresh. And now you'll see I've got two images here in the photo area. So I can click on one and you'll see my caption. And the second one is toy tractor caption number two. So since these are just samples, um, I'm going to delete this from your site so that it doesn't show up. I'll hit publish. So we'll go back here and hit refresh again and it's gone. So just to recap, now that I've got the images uploaded on the site, in order to place the image gallery back in here, I just need to click in the blank area, go to image, select the tag that I want and you can always double check now that I've got the tag selected these are the two images that have that tag so I've got the tag selected I hit the checkbox and hit use this media that's going to create the gallery tag I hit publish edits and I come back over here and hit refresh and the new images show up. So that's all there is to it. Hopefully this is helpful. And uh, if you've got any more problems, let me know, and uh, we can do we can do a screencast over the phone so that I can walk you through it. Um, but hopefully this will help. So give me a call if you need anything else, and I'll talk to you soon.